So actually that time I didn't know who could speak. Uh, then I started knowing who could speak, uh, which uh, you know, like that is, uh, if your pulmonary is covered extensively, so like uh, fifth edition, sixth edition, everything is covered, so many videos, and uh, you have an, uh, uh, separate presentations also, like whatever the videos you have, you have presentations also on multiple mocks. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Jayabharati Palaniwale for scoring a topmost rank of AML rank 5 uh, in DM Pulmonology and Critical Care Medicine uh, in ENSS session April 2024. Congratulations to you. Doctor, can we know your detailed background history from where you started till date, what all you have done? I did my UG MBBS in Stanley Medical College Chennai, sir. Like I was 13 to 19, uh, 19 I completed my internship. And uh, in 2020, I joined my MP Palmari Madison in Jinhan. Uh, and uh, 2023, I completed my MP. After that, I joined as a senior resident in Jinhan itself. And I was currently working as a senior resident, sir. Like it's almost seven months from now. Fantastic. So, your idea of doing uh, DM pulmonology and uh, of uh, MD pulmonology, I mean already, I mean when it started? Yes sir, so actually there is always a doubt when you do an MD pulmonology whether to go for a DM, whether to continue for three years again, uh, that is a huge doubt even I had, uh, I had before sir. Even if you ask me two months back uh, whether you will do DM, I was doubtful of you. Uh, but uh, still, uh, re due to recent NMC changes and uh, so much uh, seats coming up, all those things, uh, when we think of future, the computations, all those things, I think we have to go for a DM. And uh, also, it was interested in critical care also, sir, in ICUs. So, here I can cover pulmonary critical care and sleep also. So, it's a better choice. COVID impact. Uh, uh, yeah. And uh, in our uh, college institute also we have an ICU, sir. We start treating from a second year. We tend to see actually our ICU, like respiratory cases. We can separate, see. separate ICU. So, yes, sir. Separate ICU only for respiratory medicine. So that uh, exposure is also there. Uh, that will be interesting. Mm -hmm. Great. So you decided to go on for DM pulmonology and critical care. Then how did you start your preparation? What you did? and how much of time you dedicated for this and to go on to achieve what you are today. So actually this uh, doubt, uh, this doubt started whether to do DM or not in my final year itself. But uh, I was not very confident but uh, I wanted to make sure my final year things goes well. Uh, so I started reading Fishman's which is uh, more important for pulmonary pulmon 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 medicine. So and also, so actually that time I didn't know who speak when I was doing final year. Uh, I was choosing other background, other uh, apps and I was doing that and uh, Fishman I used to cover and guidelines I used to cover. And with that I usually make uh, my own notes. I made own notes, so, like I have like 700, 800 pages notes I covered. Uh, make sure like uh, my page uh, preparation is going well. Uh, after that, uh, sir, I actually I given in the last uh, mini set, I was not able to clear. I am not qualified for the last mini set. So. Uh, then I started knowing the speed. Uh, which uh, you know, like that is, uh, if your pulmonary is covered extensively, so like uh, fifth edition, sixth edition, everything is covered, so many videos, and uh, you have an, uh, uh, separate presentations also, like whatever the videos you have, you have presentations also on multiple mocks. But you know, uh, it was uh, uh, realization started only in January or February, it was too late for an exam to cover all these things. So, uh, since when I started, uh, like I have to prepare for an exam. Uh, like the certain topics I chose, like which has been asked previously, that I tend to go and see in an app and uh, started doing so. In last three, four weeks, uh, uh, I started uh, four, five mock tests I completed. So. Like I start with them, like there will be five, six, seven, eight, like different mocks will be there. So last four recent marks I started. 80 questions were there. I uh, cleared that 80 questions and I tend to see the answers also where I'm going wrong, where, where which topic to cover more. So uh, actually the exam also, that is like similarity of what the exam you usually give in AIMS. So uh, that really helped I think sir. And uh, there was not that much time in one month you can't cover both pulmonology and medicine also. So there are certain topics which tend to get repeated like neurology and tropical diseases so in general medicines and hemat, that is all important. So I tend to cover that like little bit I rushed it and uh, I make, make sure like pulmonology part I'm doing it well. And whatever general medicine part which I knew, 
I can do it. Uh, so it is like I could not cover everything, sir. I just covered the uh, little few portions which is needed, which is ten to I ten to percent. So that I do one, sir. <laughs> so meticulous, very very meticulous planning and uh, prioritized, and that is what is uh, all about. And you have beautifully prioritized your. Uh, correct, you know that this is the prime pulmonology fishman six. But one thing which I was always to look at students of pulmonology, one advantage is uh, you use the superficiality book itself for your post graduation because yes. that orientation, that advantage is huge actually. Uh, because when a person who is on uh, Harrison general medicine background, suppose he wants to do a cardiology, he has to read Brownwald, and he is not exposed to Brown. I mean. That kind of for every specialty, that matter of fact, uh, for any of the super specialty. Uh, so when the book becomes yes. the same and the following becomes same, it I think it will build more confidence. Okay, I'm in the same book and the same track, and I want to do do little more on detail on that. So I mean, you would have done Fishman, right? You know your PG. I mean, that is a book that you follow for pulmonology, right? Yeah. Both, both, sir. Like the topics. Uh, important topics I tend to cover in Fishman, sir, because I could not cover it. Is it honestly you could not cover everything, sir? Because first year, second year, you tend to work and work and yeah, uh, that is third year, initial part, we could do this. Yeah, that is right. The last six months, what? That, that is why any PG, that is why any PG, what he says, right? But the book is Fishman, right? I mean, the book is the same, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, doctor, uh, how many questions did you attend? Sir, actually, uh, this time I didn't go address you, sir. I was like passive. Uh, I attended only 69 questions. Oh, okay. Even that is not too less, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, sir. Like, uh, I decided this time I have I have to know which question to answer, which question not to answer. So, the questions, something which I really don't know, I skipped all those questions. Uh, some questions which uh, I, I, I feel like I can answer in medicine, I answer. I made sure like pulmonology questions I'm answering correctly with uh, some little uh, medicine questions. And uh, started from Stanley, went to Jipmer. Then your primary preparation was for any SS or NEET SS? Sir, NEET SS last time I got around 60th, uh, 60th rank. Uh, but uh, I wanted to get in any set. So, once you step into the institute, I mean, it's very difficult to come out of. Is it right? Is that kind of a. It's not like this, sir. sir uh, because why I wanted to do an institute is, uh, sir, if, if, when you look at JITMA, uh, they have an ICU also. We do an, till an EBUS procedures also. It's like it is extensive. You can, any compared to state college, it, uh, we see a lot of exposure cases also. So I wanted to make sure like I go a little uh, more than this and uh, doing the same thing for three years so I could learn something more. Yeah, that is absolutely good enough. But I just want to I mean uh, just ask you about the mindset uh, because no, most. It won't be. It is not like that, sir. Because if you ask me, Stanley or Jitma, I still go for Stanley. <laughs> okay, because good. That's the route I came from, so I feel like. Okay. Still at that route. Okay. Now, can you share something on your experience on the interview? I mean, what did you do? I mean, what are things asked? Can you share okay. something on that? Okay. Sir, so interview, first, uh, <laughs> they were asking about the hours experience with your bronchoscopies and uh, like from, like how many bronchoscopies you have done, like that they start. And once they started, then they asked about questions, like what is the diagnostic bronchoscopy, what if you are doing, how you are diagnosing, just at the spot, like that. And uh, what is the significance of the cell count? Uh, about the bronchoscope, they asked. Then they started asking about sleep. So I feel like sleep is little, not little complicated. It's like more complicated. People tend to skip. Uh, we didn't have a level one study, sir, but we do have a level three study in our uh, institute. So they asked about a uh, level three institute. What you have done? Like uh, how much? Uh, what is the implication? Uh, it is all the applied questions. So what is the implication? Contraindication? Who will not do? Who to do all these things? Also, uh, some rare topics they started asking like this uh, GPA, GPA, and uh, uh, some new new drugs they asked, which actually I didn't know, sir. But the uh, rest of things I knew they will ask for sleep, uh, so I made sure like I did sleep nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, other thing is uh, diagnostic bronchoscopy, and uh, this also, sir, like uh, you, know, you can, uh, if you tend to ask, my, my seniors are still in AIMS, so they are studying, sir. So I asked them how to prepare for anything. Uh, so, like they told you, 
read about critical care sites use uh, like VAP or HAP for those infection you can cover, critical care part little bit we cover. So I covered all those things which uh, they have said and they really helped me. Great. Now, your advice for the aspirants of pulmonary medicine, DM pulmonary medicine or critical medicine, what is your advice? So, if somebody is doubting whether they can go for an MD or DM, if you don't have a second thought, like if you are uh, comfortable enough for like uh, in working three more years, you can still choose uh, DM. And uh, uh, sir, I, I, my plan was not uh, so much extensive, but uh, I, I had a very limited time. Uh, first thing is, I was doubtful whether I could do it. Then uh, my consultant encouraged, encouraged me that you can do it. So, first to, to have confidence in ourselves is really important. And choosing the right platform is also important. So. And when you're doing a final year, uh, you make sure like you put a little bit effort also. Because having a good final year background is important. So, if, if your college, if you have good exposure, that is well enough. Even if you don't have good exposure, make sure you read a final year properly. So meanwhile, I completed my DMP exam also. Like so, so second time I oh. revised my whole part for okay. second. <laughs> so it tend to you uh, whenever you get time or something, then uh, actually I thought, thought of applying for an uh, uh, MRCP also CE, sir, like mm. the special degree. But uh, that time I had an exam, so I could not apply for that. So I tend to prepare for all those things in between, even if I have some time doing my starship. So, you uh, don't uh, skip the subject, like whichever case you see, you tend to read that case uh, itself. Uh, and uh, if you even have limited time, planning is really important, I feel, sir. And the answer, uh, just what to answer, what not to answer, also you have to stay calm during the exam and they can do it if all this thing happens. <laughs> Great doctor. Now, time to thank and you can use this platform to thank whom all you want to thank have made your career so far. Okay. Uh, sir, actually my parents have been a huge support since my school days. I want to thank them a lot. Like, uh, uh, they shifted to my PG place from their hometown just to stay with me. Pondicherry. Pondicherry. So, they have been a great support for me and my brother also, so like he, he was also a medical pastor, so from Simola, he started learning things like uh, all those things, so he did. And my friends were like super supportive, my boys are for two years. And uh, not, like I have to mention the institute where I have learned so many things, so, and also my consultants. It's a great opportunity to work under them, and uh, obviously the institutes uh, which I learned uh, for this preparation, so uh, uh, it's also I'm back, sir. So. It great. was uh, great. <laughs> Wonderful doctor to have you in this session today. Once again, we wish you all the best and a great success and a great career uh, in DM pulmonology as a pulmonologist and a critical care specialist and you are going to make an, a huge impact in this specialty and we strongly believe in so and advance congratulations for that once again to you and keep moving, keep going, keep inspiring always and we will be looking forward to you. All the best. Thank you.